It really is, Roop and Taryn. It is very quiet, very peaceful, and a little on the chilly side right now, I'm not gonna lie. And tomorrow, like you said, the forecast isn't great, but everyone is just so excited about baseball. A lot of people are not even gonna be thinking about the weather. At the Anchor Bar in downtown Detroit. It was like, we gotta come downtown, it's National Beer Day, grab a brew. It's also the night before the Tigers home opener. The calm before the storm, so to speak. With the COVID-19 pandemic winding down, opening day is once again going to be that giant party that everyone remembers. I mean, who could forget Fox 2's very own Derek Kevra getting down in the D? I don't have a tail. I can't do that. I don't have a tail. It is going to be a big day, an exciting day. We're all happy to finally have baseball back in full swing. And if you're wondering where on earth am I going to park, the newly upgraded Park Detroit app may just help you find that perfect parking spot. You click on the garage that you're interested in parking in. It lets you know what the cost is and if there's availability. You then reserve the space and you pay for it immediately. It works for street parking too. And of course, once you apply the filters, if you'll notice, you see red and yellow and green that tells you on, on the street parking if you can get a parking space. Workers putting the final touches on Comerica Park. First pitch is at 110 tomorrow afternoon. The Tigers taking on the Chicago White Sox. I'll probably be down after I get off work just to like people leaving the game, you know, the after party. We don't have tickets to the game, so we'll don't. probably just go to a local bar and watch it. I'll probably root for the Detroit City so Kitties. That's what we call them in we're Ohio. Go so. for Detroit. Ken and Angie Waldrop in town from Cleveland to see a 1980s tribute band called Rockstar performing at the Fillmore. It's pr prior to the baseball game. Yeah, the home opener. So yeah. they're, they're, they come on at 10, 15 a.m. and they play straight through till 1230. So many hit songs from those 80s rock hair bands that Ken and Angie can't wait to hear. Poison, Sorry. Def Leppard, Molly Crew. Above all else, tomorrow's festivities, a sign that life is finally getting back to normal. The big one was for me on St. Patrick's Day with the old chalet, you know, they had the whole, you know, like there was so many people there and all the DJs set up and just like standing in that crowd of people dancing and, you know, it was, it felt like it was, you know, we had turned the corner. Man, a return to normalcy. Of course, that's what we all have been wanting for so, so long. Of course, the party starts bright and early tomorrow morning. The Fox 2 News crew will be down here in full force all morning long. And uh, if you are going to come down here, I would uh, recommend that you bundle up, dress in layers, because uh, it's not exactly going to be balmy out tomorrow. Reporting live from downtown Detroit, Camille Mary, Fox 2 News. Yeah, we're all excited to feel the roar once again after two long years. Camille Mary for us live. Thank you.